I'm, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to deal with the diagnosis question. But gangrene is a problem that we've known how to deal with for over 100 years. It doesn't make sense to me that anybody in custody should have to suffer and die from gangrene. So I did some more research. I discovered that there had been two other deaths last year or the year before in the same facility. The more I looked into it, the more I looked at the standards, the more I realized that I was looking at a situation where somebody's human rights had been violated. We're not talking about law. We're not talking about some regulatory minimum care standard here. We're talking about people dying of diseases that any person in this county could get treated in an hour at any dock in the box. We're not talking about people who have the option of seeking medical care. And then, I'm a, I, I'm a resident of Madison County and have been most of my life, except for while I was away in the Army. And I'm responsible. This is my government. We're violating these people's human rights. We're taking life that doesn't have to be taken. And I'm not going to let it happen on my watch. Not on my watch.